Happy Wednesday traders, this is Shlomo Cooper and we are with another Wall Street preview ahead of the opening bell. Make sure you stay with me till the end of this video as I'm going to show you a couple of the main stocks I am going to put on my screens today. They all have great potential for today's trading. So what happened yesterday? This is the S&P 500, the SPY, the ETF that tracks the S&P 500 on, on a 15 minutes time frame and stocks as we can see opened with a gap up opened higher on Tuesday after the poor action on Monday actually the poor action we had on Monday this is the Nasdaq the QQQ it was contained actually in in, in the Nasdaq and uh, of course, market players were looking yesterday for the inevitable bounce. So that bounce did occur, but it was lackluster, very, very sleepy movement in the action and a late sell program that we can see here was a sour note for all the market players. Um, Fed chairwoman Jeanette Yellen spoke yesterday and highlighted the uncertainties surrounding the inflation outlook. She said that policemakers should worry about moving too gradually to normalize interest rates. So that comment was seen as a relatively hawkish comment, but not enough to shake stocks out of their complacency. Let's move for today's trading and today's, today is a big day in Wall Street. Don't expect anything to be sleepy. It's going to be nothing but sleepy. Um, the much anticipated tax plan crafted by the Trump administration is expected to be unveiled today and that could provide positive momentum for stocks in the last days of the quarter. Details have been leaking all day yesterday and much of it is well anticipated, but it is a news event that should cause some computer action. Hopes for business friendly tax policy have been one you know, of the big positives driving um, this market uh, since the election. And uh, if we will take just a look on the daily chart of the S&P 500 uh, since November um, last year, let's uh, squeeze more data into this chart, all right? This all movement, one of the major drivers was um, a friendly uh, tax policy. So conditions are good for a sell the news reaction today, but you know that dynamic isn't easy when you are dealing with computer algorithms that are thinking three steps ahead. So be ready for some movement on the tax story today. The best trading plan I have is to wait first, for first, first of all to wait for the sell the news reaction and then to see if I can join the computerized algorithms if they initiate their automatic buy programs. Trade of the day and this in this corner of trade of the day, it's not about bragging or showing off, but a learning opportunity for you guys to see what I'm doing as a professional day trader with more than 18 years of expertise in Wall Street. And I'll share with you trading concepts and trading techniques that I'm executing day in, day out. CCL, CCL was a Carnival Cruise, um, was one of the stocks on my screens yesterday. We had it in our day report that uh, our subscribers get hours ahead of the opening bell. It was one of the stocks that was going to post their earnings early in the morning. As you can see here, the stock started the day off with a gap down showing some weakness uh, after its report but quite immediately started to fade the gap. Once a stock is filling the gap, it always I, I always you know want to see if it's going to stall there and reverse back to its original gap direction. This is a tactic I call fill and drop. Think about the rationale here. Those traders who bet on good numbers out of this company and hold long positions actually suffered major losses at the beginning of the day. Once the stock has filled the gap, this is the first time they are in a break even for the trade, which offers them, you know, a great exit point without the need to pay any big toll or punishment. 
This is why I'm going to look here if the upside for the stock is over and will try to get short it with a tight stop. Usually the stock will reverse here and go back to the low of the day. My um, short started uh, just below 64.20 with a tight stop loss around 64.40. It was a couple of cents above 64.40, about 20 cents risk. Just look how the stock went down to the low of the day and offered us uh, something of about 1 to 10 risk to reward ratio. This is a great opportunity for us traders. All right, let's take a quick look on a couple of big movers after the closing bell yesterday that are going to be on our screens today. But first of all, my traders and I just love it when we get an IPO, initial public offering. You don't get it every day. You don't even get it every week these days. But today is the day and we have an education Chinese company who is about to make its debut. It's called RIB, R-I-R-Y-B, and it's going to raise about 130 million dollars. The company is a provider of early childhood education services in China and it will start to trade under the symbol RYB today, Credit Suisse and Morgan Stanley. So we are getting ready to make some big bucks on RYB today. Let's take a look on a couple of stocks after the close that are going to be on our radar and these are part of the stocks of on the radar for today. First of all, um, let's take a look on Twitter and I'll just take here the after the after the post market action. All right. So first of all, as you can see, Twitter here after the close uh, rose nearly two percent after hours following the company's announcement that it is testing out two hundred and eighty cartel tweets today. It's double the current uh, max allowed it today. Uh, Nike and Ke. All right, as you can see here, it went down more than 3% after hours following the release of the company's expected um, first quarter results. And we had also Micron, MU, uh, which rose more than 3% in the extended trading session after the company posted better than expected results and guidance that exceeded estimates. Thank you all very much for watching. Have a great trading day, make money, and I'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye all.